Brent and Sarah, we want to be really clear when we talk about wrong way crashes in this context. We're not talking about people crossing over dividers on the road. We're talking about people entering the highway in the wrong direction, like the ramp you see behind me. It is a problem of record proportions, and lawmakers say it deserves more investments. Dramatic dash cam video shows the moment a state police cruiser spotted a wrong way driver on I-91 in Hartford early Sunday morning. The car ultimately crashing with police. Luckily, no lives were lost. But 23 people weren't as lucky last year. We had 12 crashes and 23 fatalities, which was the most in recent Connecticut memory. You know, we're really accelerating our efforts to do more. This year, the most high profile wrong way crash yet. A wrong way driver killing state rep Quentin Q. Williams on Route 9. A couple years ago, a tragedy happened right up Route 84, right behind me, where two people were killed right in my district. This is no small problem. There are 700 ramps across Connecticut. Last year, lawmakers allocated $20 million to increase the latest technology. Adding more than were required by federal highway standards, making them larger than federal highway standards, trying to make them as visible as possible. The DOT says 236 ramps are considered a high priority. Now dozens of those ramps have flashing LED lights and cameras to warn drivers. But State Rep David Labriola, who serves on the Transportation Committee, is proposing to do the same across Connecticut. Where there are 360 degree cameras that detect if a driver is going the wrong way and then a series of flashing lights come on and the local police are notified. The DOT outfitted 16 ramps with flashing lights in 2022. They're planning to do more more than 60 this year, but costs could be prohibitive, and it will certainly be debated this session. But we're talking about saving lives, protecting our families and our constituents, and so you really can't put a price tag on it. Another thing about these crashes, most of them happen overnight, and 80 percent of them involve impaired drivers. State police encourage people to drive in the middle or right lanes. They say the wrong way drivers usually get in the fast lane. We're live in Middlebury, Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.